Okay everybody, I'm going to share with you how to get the uh, Sport Clip certified for free. So I got certified for free. And um, I don't even think there's a license to drive a Sport Clip, just certification. See, I, uh, I was certified like 2004. I was certified to drive a Sport Clip, a stand-up Sport Clip and a sit-down Sport Clip. Sit-down Sport Clip because you're sitting down and the other one is a stand-up, a lift where you can go in the aisle and and uh, the lift can go really high. Anyway, I was 35 around 2004. Uh, took we the company brought in somebody. Uh, we watched a video, took the test, passed that test. I mean, yeah, I have some mistakes in the test, but you know when you but you correct it right there on the spot, so you get you pass it. So pretty much everyone will pass if you just watch the video and you know, correct your mistakes. The main thing is you understand the rules and you know, the, the, the rules of the driving a forklift and they trained me to drive a forklift but my job doesn't really require me to, to drive a forklift so I only have like probably like less than an hour of driving a forklift and after I quit the job I didn't work in a warehouse anymore so, so my next job I started without you no know, it didn't require me to drive a forklift but as I learned more and more stuff they asked me if I, I know how to drive a forklift. I said, I'm certified, but I'm not, I, can't, I don't know how to drive a forklift. So I'm like, all right, so I, they start training me to drive a forklift. We did the test, you know, watch a video, check out, do the, the test again, pay for a test, and he gave me the, a card to be certified. Let me get that card. Okay. Forklift operator authorization card. So on this one, it says that I'm forklift, sit down 35, capacity 4,000 pounds, forklift reach truck 3,500 pounds, and pallet jack 3,000 pounds. So I'm certified for three, even the pallet jack, they gave me certification for it. So I can operate all this uh, equipment. And, uh, and this thing expired on 11 7, 20 last year. So, and I got it, uh, so every three years, this is, I get certified 11 7, 17 and expires 11 7, 20. So three years, you have, you have to renew your certification again. Even though you take a class, like a, you, you pay, when you go to that job, you still have to be certified by them. So, for me, you know, you're better off just apply for, if you're gonna wanna learn to drive a forklift, just apply for like, Entry level job in a warehouse, if they, and just go from there because they, they need a lot of perfect drivers. So they'll train you, and that's how you get your experience how to learn to drive. When I was first learning how to drive the forklift, but I get stuck a couple of times, more than a couple, because on the ramp, sometimes I, I put the forklift too low, the, the, the forks, and when you back up, boom, stop because there's a little like, like this on the, the ramp. So when you back up your 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 front wheel, it's a front wheel drive. So you will go pook. You get stuck there. Like ah, I don't know what to do. And then somebody will just help me. Like lift your flip up, and it'll just roll up. Oh, that's why. So you 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 learn by your mistakes. So that's how I think. That's how I got better at driving. So I made a lot of mistakes. And the main thing is safety. Make sure you don't speed up too much, and then look around. And don't cover the front of your for wherever you're going. Do not block. If you have your front is blocked, then turn your head and go backwards. Yeah. So the the thing is the main thing is you be safe. That's what the test is for. This for your safety and the rest. If you know how to drive a uh, bumper cars, by the way, it's the same concept. One wheel. Turn, turn. One wheel only. So it's not like you're driving a car like this. No, use one wheel. That's how you go. If you want to learn how to drive a forklift, just go and work for a warehouse with entry-level job and eventually they'll teach you how to drive a forklift and get certified from there. But like I said, you still have to be certified with the next job, so just make sure you know how to drive it before you say you're certified because some, uh, some lifts are harder to drive. Like the, 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 we have the Raymond one, the stand-up one is easier to drive. 
but we have the Toyota one, it's kind of hard to drive. Yeah, so when you apply for another job, like I said earlier, it, you will, your certification from the previous job doesn't really matter because you're going to have to, they're going to test you how to drive a, a forklift. And the main thing too is just safety. When you're driving a, a lift truck in the middle of the aisle, make sure your lift is, the forks are down. I, I did it before. I Luckily, I was driving, driving slow and I forgot to lower my lift. Like, ooh, I almost hit the middle, the middle area. Like, oops. So, I'm like, oops, where's my lift? So, yeah, don't be a hurry. So, yeah, that's it. So, that's how I got my experience. That's how I got uh, my free certification by just working in the warehouse and got lucky that the uh, people there wanted people to learn how to drive a forklift. So, that's how I learned it. I didn't have to pay anything and, and you had good experience. So, if you know how to drive uh, bumper cars, you can drive a forklift. All right, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and click the notification button. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.